Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's take the latest news coming in from the camp of Black Stars of Ghana's players. The breaking news is that Paris Saint Germain PSG in the French League One they have now submitted a bid for the Black Stars of Ghana's ringer that is Ernest Nuama Apia. And what is the status of that bid? I will reveal a lot in this video for you on this channel. Kudos Mohamed to Chelsea is still on Chelsea Football Club. Yesterday, after we won our second game of the preseason against Brighton Hove Albion, Chelsea is still chasing to sign Mohamed Kudus. Kudus coach, he has spoken and um, we will check it out in this video on Kudus transfers. He is saying something which is really interesting. You will check it out. I have latest news from Joseph Pinto for you in this video. Mohamed Salisu, I will also talk about him and some other latest news you need to know from Emmanuel Yabua, the 99 idea strikers and others on this channel. Before we delve into the details, anytime you join us, please, you know what to do already. Kindly like our video. Anytime you join us, like the video after liking. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Put us on post notifications so that any video you drop, you'll be the first person to get it and also enjoy. So, I also give shout out in this video. Those who commented under Kudu's transfer video yesterday. That's the last but one video before this one. I'll give shout out to you. So, just expect that. Now, let's begin from here. Let's begin from Joseph Pinto. He's a player who plays for KL Sugeng in the Belgium Pro League. Last season, he did fantastic for the club. He scored 18 goals, provided 14 assists. You know, many clubs were chasing him, but not, no club officially sent a bid for this particular player. Yesterday, he was awarded at KLC Gang's game. Yes, they awarded him in front of the fans as one of the top three best performers in the league last season after his um, you know stupendous performance. And he took to his official page on Twitter and he posted it. He said, humbled and honored to receive this award as one of the top three performers last season. I dedicate this to the rest of my teammates and coaching staff for always having my back. Thanks to the fans as well for pushing me um, to be best I can be. Um, it felt good to see you today. So according to the player, he was really excited for getting this award as top three performance of the season last season. He did very really well and Jose Pinto will wish him all the best this season in his career. Now, let's talk about Kudus Mohamed. Yesterday, I told you that Kudus to Chelsea is now on as it was confirmed by David Austin and, you know, like, um, you know some news outlets, they all confirmed that Kudus Mohamed might be heading to the Stamford Bridge because Chelsea, they have now agreed personal terms with the player and they are now speaking with Ayas. They are here to send off a shabit and when it is done, I'll bring you details on this channel. Now, Kudus Mohamed coach, that is the new coach who has taken over Stan, he has spoken. According to him, he says Kudus should stay for at least one more season. That is my position initially. I think Kudus should at least stay and play well. But Ayas is also not improving their squad. That's the, that's the truth. Yesterday, Ayas played their second preseason friendly and they lost three goals to now against Anderlecht. The first game they won, that was 3 against Shakhtar Nedes. And yesterday, they lost 3 0. This is what he said in the interview. He said, I feel that when Kudus decides to stay for one more year, the real top clubs will then come for him. That is what he said. He added that if he win the league and he scores 20 goals, clubs will pay double for him. This is what um, we are trying to tell him now. So, according to him, they are now trying to convince Kudus Mohamed to stay at Ayas. And they are telling him that stay. Play well, at least if you score about 20 goals, more clubs will come in, big clubs will come and pay double of what they are now about to pay now for you. So, that is also the latest on Kudus Mohamed as the coach or the new Ayas coach, Maurice Stein, has spoken on him. Now, let's move on and talk about Salisu Mohamed. Salisu, yesterday I told you that AS Monaco, they have sent two base to um, Sa um, Sadamten to release the player, but Sadamten is reluctant. They want more than 20 million, but the latest club, which is leading the race to sign him, is Fulham in the EPL. Fulham is now leading the race to sign Mohamed Salisu, and the um, price is not yet out. When it is out, I'll bring it to you on this channel, but Fulham, they are leading the race to sign Mohamed Salisu from Sadamten. I mean, it just looked like the player might move on. Yesterday, Sadamten's training game, I didn't see see him in starting the game for them and that is that now let me also talk about you know um ns noama apia he is the latest in the transfer news yes ns noama apia paris saint germain in the french leg one side according to l'equipe and some other news outlet the player he is being you know pushed forward 
by the club. They have now sent official bid to FC Nordland to sign him. But Nordland, they have rejected the first bid from PSG. So PSG will now go back, put their things together and come back with a second offer. So they want to sign Ghana youngest. That is under 20 boy. He is just 19 years of age. Last season, he contributed in 19 goals for the club. That is FC Nordland. He scored 15 of them and also provided 4 assists. He is really fantastic. And now, um, Paris Saint-Germain is the latest club to join the race to sign the player from FC Nordland. He has been, uh, you know, touted as one of the best talents in the Danish Super League. Last season, he won the Young Best Player in there. He also won the Spring Player Award. He did a lot. He won about four awards in total, including the Ghana, Ghana's own that he won the um, Odatelamte Award by the Ghana, uh, JFA Awards which happened in Ghana here. So, guys, that is it for you. Ernest Noama Pia, 19-year-old boy. He is now being chased by Paris Saint-Germain to join them at the Parc de Princes. Now, Emmanuel Yabua, the 99-year striker, also scored his first goal for CFR Cluj in the Romanian Super League. That is yesterday. That was a fantastic one for him. This is just the second game of the season, and he climbed off the bench to come and score for them. It was CFR Cluj. They won by three goals to one against Euro Attack in the game when he was climbing off the bench to join the game it was 2-1 for them then he added the third goal for them which is good for his development we hope that this player will grow and be integral part of the black stars of Ghana's team in the nearest future so guys these are some of the latest news on the players you know yesterday night thomas Tepati played for arsenal as they played in the united states of america um they lost against manchester united though but Pate came on to play a part and some other latest news on this channel we bring you more just take and stay with me for that on this channel now let me say shout out to these amazing guys who commented perpetua i've seen you you commented yesterday christopher philip you are also on this channel thank you first of all you also commented i have kelio kelio you are also here and um, paul marfo is also on this channel thomas afra secrecy thomas thank you for being here always um ken o is also here um, then I also have Lolomi Matthias. You are also on this channel. Samir Dako, I appreciate you. Kingsley Ashon is also here. Swanzi Kujay, thank you for being here. Isaac Dramena is also on this channel. Foster Maunya is also here. Inketia Ernest is also on this channel. Agbenu Emmanuel, I have seen you. You are doing well. Agbame Scopito TV, thank you for being here always. Um, then I have Emmanuel Amani also here. Nana Ado Ochre, Nana Ado, what's up? I've seen your comments, yes. <laughs> okay, Emmanuel Beko Entry is also here. It's a big up for I'm watching from um, Washington, D.C. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you. That is Emmanuel Beko Entry. Then I have uh, Martin Duvlo also on this channel. Hayford Kuala is also here. Abed Frida, you thank you for joining me always. Rafai Abdullah, you are also here. I have Christian Nuopo. Um, he is also back. Yes, I have Andrews. That's DJ Smart also on this channel. Ohene Nob is also here. Dokrugu Joseph is also here. Too Loud Earpiece, I have seen you. Yusa HR, I have seen you. True Yen, you are also on this channel. Thank you. Middle the Swampy is also here. Regina Afo, a very fantastic lady. I have um, Eni Kaka also on this channel. Then Kwame Ado also on this channel. Azuma Obed also here. Um, Adam, okay, okay, Adoma Raymond, Adoma Raymond, you are also here, thank you, I have seen you, then I have Seidu Mumini, you are also on this channel, then um, Dambi Chris is also here, then Imano Boatin, these are all their fantastic guys who commented under our last but one video yesterday, so guys, let me know your thoughts on the comment box, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel, this was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.